Next up, the Cleveland Browns on the road against the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals coming off a major major victory at home against Kansas City Chiefs. They beat them for the third time in 2022, which is an insane stat that doesn't sound real, but it's true. The Bengals have won three times in 2022 against the Kansas City Chiefs, once regular season and the last year, then again in the playoffs, AFC title game, then again last week. The Bengals just have the Chiefs number. Something about the way they play defense, something about the way they run that shell too high, they take care of Patrick Mahomes and really force him into uncomfortable situations. They were routinely getting to him up front. They were putting him under pressure constantly. He looked so uncomfortable throughout the duration of that game. You can almost see what the Chiefs offense looks like when it's just a bit off. Guys are dropping passes. They're not catching the ball in stride. Things are just looking a little bit off, and sometimes that can be enough to knock this Chiefs team off their throne because they really have just been basically untouchable for like five years now. But for whatever reason, the Bengals are able to do it. Now they play host to a Browns team that is coming into week two of the Deshaun Watson experience. Week one was not so great. They basically had to rely on their defense to score three touchdowns against a Texans team that is losing on purpose. The Texans are losing on purpose. It is insane. It is criminal. The Texans, I thought, would have a little bit of pride last week, want to play a little bit up to their competition to get back at Deshaun Watson. No, no, they didn't care. They just rolled over and and played one of the worst football games I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, The Texans had no energy, no juice. It was a pathetic performance. I never want to touch that team ever again in any capacity. The Browns, however, their defense is maybe pretty good. I I don't know what to even take from that game because, honestly, the Texans are rolling over and dying, essentially. Deshaun Watson looked horrible. I I can take that against a Texans defense that has been stopping nobody. If you're like me, you're rooting against Deshaun Watson. You're rooting against the Browns in this Deshaun Watson experience. On top of that, I think most people are going to come away from that Bengals game last week and think, okay, the Bengals just beat the Chiefs. They should destroy the Browns here. But the line here is only set at four and a half. The over-under set at 48. A four and a half point line in the Bengals' favor feels fishy to me. It stands out immediately because I'm looking at last week's results and I would think initially, based on what I know, what I think about football, that the Bengals should be like a seven point, seven and a half point favorite here. So when I see something like that, I see this sort of disparity between what I expect the line to be and what Vegas has set it at. I'm always wary. My, my ears perk up. I think something weird is happening here for that reason, for the reason that I think everyone is fading to Sean Watson, maybe a little bit prematurely on top of that. Maybe the Bengals are a little too high after a major victory uh, against a conference champion level contender in the Chiefs. Give me the Browns here plus four and a half. I don't know if the Browns win this game outright, but this is a divisional ma- divisional matchup. We know those are always very, very competitive. I want to take a team plus four and a half. You cross that three point key number here. Give me the Browns plus four and a half. I hate to bet on Deshaun Watson, but I'm going to do it here in the name of furthering our bankrolls. rolls.